My name is Carol Lee and I'm currently a master's student working with the NZAVS team and today I'll be talking about um, my honours um, thesis which was looking at New Zealanders' attitudes towards vaccinations. So this um, research was in collaboration between psychology researchers such as myself and also medical professionals. Um, so we had Dr. Um, Isabel Duck contribute to our study as well. So there appears to be a recent rise in um, vaccine safety concerns in many countries and this is associated with um, a lot of previous fraudulent, fraudulent research that um, suggests links between um, vaccinations and various illnesses or um, infections. So um, a famous example would be um, Wakefield's study that looked at um, the link between the measles, mump and rubella vaccine and autism. Um, lots of studies um, later found that um, this link was actually totally not true and it has been disproven and lots of studies across many countries using a variety of methods have found that vaccinations are safe. Despite all these findings, a subset of the population still tend to be skeptical of vaccinations. In the NZAVS we measured people's attitudes towards um, vaccinations um, by asking them to rate on a scale of 1 to 7 their degree of support for the statement it is safe to vaccinate children following the standard New Zealand immunisation schedule. So we had res um, participants respond to this item um, on a scale of 1 to 7, where um, 1 indicated that they were um, strongly opposed to vaccinations, 4 being neutral and 7 being strongly supportive of vaccinations. So we categorised um, participants' responses into three categories, where um, ratings of 1 to 2 were considered as being strongly opposed, Ratings of 3 to 5 were considered as being neutral or sceptical, and ratings of 6 to 7 were considered as being um, strongly supportive of vaccinations. Okay, so we found that 68.5% um, of participants were supportive of vaccinations, and 259 were neutral or sceptical, and 55 were strongly opposed. So we also looked at um, demographic and psychological correlates associated with people's attitudes towards vaccinations, and um, we did find um, significant psychological correlates, but it's also important to note that since we had such a large sample size, um, these effects tend to be quite trivial. So um, for example, we found that those are high on um, openness, which um, indicates um, being more open to new ideas and people who tend to seek novelty, that um, those high on openness tended to be um, less supportive of vaccinations, which suggests that um, these people tend to be um, open to more alternative ideas or conspiracy theories associated with vaccinations. We also found a very weak effect that um, those who had higher health satisfaction tended to be less supportive of vaccination. We suggest that perhaps this um, effect might be because those who have higher health satisfaction um, tend to um, be more, have more security in their children's health. Um, so this is really risky because having good general health doesn't mean that they are protected against um, diseases that could be preventable by, from, by vaccinations. So what my study indicates is that um, the majority of New Zealanders tend to be supportive of vaccinations, which is, is a good thing, but then again, a um, considerable amount of people tend to still be um, neutral or sceptical. So, um, suggest that there is room for improvement. So I'd just lastly like to thank all the participants um, of our study and um, if it wasn't for them um, we wouldn't have um, been able to um, find these valuable findings and we really appreciate their contribution.